Okay, so part of it is I want to take you through how to utilize Mouse Recorder. And again, it's a free tool. It's so awesome. You just got to learn how to use it and it can become a great tool in your toolbox. So whenever you need to, if you want to record a new macro, again, you can just click on this or you can load a previous file if you already have something that's been recorded. If you want to go in and create any uh, what I call hotkeys, um, then you're just going to go right here into the settings, help settings, hotkeys. And from here, if you press control window A, or I'm sorry, shift window A, that's going to start or stop your recording. If you press shift S, it's going to start a new one. Shift D, that's going to play it. So I'm just going to go ahead and record a new macro here. And I want you to see that as I move off here, it's going to start recording. But as I stay on here, if I click anything, I can start typing that. But once I click on back on the mouse recorder, it stopped recording. So I'm going to go over here and all I'm going to do is scroll to the bottom, click next. And maybe that's something that I need to do as my job is I need to scroll through these pages just for some reason. There's a lot of micro tasks that you can do. Once you're done, come back here, click into it and you're done. You can also come over to record and play and press stop as well. So the final things that we're probably going to want to get rid of, as you can see right there, is that left mouse click. I'm just going to click on that again. See, we moved our mouse down from there and we clicked left there. So we're probably going to want to delete those things. Just press highlight those. You can press control to select different, uh, different actions or you can hold shift and that'll move it like that. So I'm going to delete those, pressing delete. And that's about it. So that's exactly what we want to do. And maybe we don't even want to wait at all. And we want this speed to go 5x. So now I'm going to play this out again. Click next. And there it goes again. So again, that was something that was automatic. It was easy to transition into. So I'm going to show you how to use this inside of Facebook. And we're going to use this to automatically add friends to our friend list with this macro. Pretty cool, right?